Uh, so I want to start off talking about uh, working with Neil Labute as the writer for this. And Adam, you've worked with him before. What's your attraction to working with Neil, uh, working on his scripts? Um, I mean, I'm always, I think as an actor, or really anyone who works on one of these things, you're, for me, you're trapped in, and I, I, this can be a good thing or a bad thing, but you know, you're, you're in somebody's world, their make-believe world and their mind, essentially, and you kind of live in it. And so I'm always interested in the brightest, most interesting people I can find. Um, to sort of inhabit that space where they live in their mind, if I'm, you know, and, and so, um, I hate when things are sterile or, you know, so to me, he's just, uh, he's incredibly interesting. I mean, he's a layered thinker. He's a very specific, got such a specific voice. Mm -hmm. And um, also I just like, not even on a surface level, but I also just really think he's funny. So, I mean, to be able to have a sort of, to me, deep conversation about, uh, humanity and our relationship to each other and also laugh while doing it and laughing at the darkest parts of it are this interesting contrast for me that uh, I just find engaging. And you've played pretty unlikable characters or characters that are pretty complex in Ooh, terms of... <laughs> 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 What's it like to approach a character like that that's so like unlikable or at least in a gray area? I mean, I think whoever you're, I mean, well, it depends on who you're playing. You know, some people, rel I mean, if you're playing like a sadist, then you can relish being bad, I guess. But, I mean, for this guy specifically, my interpretation was he doesn't, you know, he's doing some soul searching. It's not quite going deep enough. And he's trying to argue his case for with the women and uh, with himself why he's uh, in the right. And so, you know, it's, you just kind of, you know, argue, take his morals and, and, and apply them and uh, argue that side of it. And it's, it's fun. I mean, I, you know, that's why, I, I mean, I do so many things in acting that I could never do in life. I can be quite self-conscious or, or, you know, or just not awful, you know, and, 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 and life. And that's what's fun about it. You're just kind of playing. So Daisy, the same question to you. What attracted you to work? with Neil's script. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of his, and I think because he deals with women's issues, I find it funny that I keep getting this question about what's it like as a woman, because he writes about misogyny and, mm -hmm. and issues uh, uh, against, you know, um, uh, the way men can attack and hurt and manipulate women, and as a woman, I think that's a great topic. Let's talk about it. So that, that's what appealed to me. I like the fact, especially in this piece, that the women get such strong voices and that the type of man who's manipulating them and, and that they're up against is, uh, I think, very relatable to a lot of women have dated a guy like that. Yeah. Sort of seemingly sensitive, but actually pretty hurtful. And I find it interesting that the perspective that you take as a director with this, that it's not really from either Adam's character or the female characters. It's more just observational, like right. fly on the wall. <laughs> I think that comes from Neil. I think the point of view does shift in it, and I think that it's great that Adam's on the character's side, and, and certainly I'm on his side some of the time. You know, I feel like in the last scene, for sure, he is is making his most um, authentic plea. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, I think that's in the material. And then also just the narrative structure and the idea of just shooting these concise spaces, hotel rooms, it's just a series of one hotel room after right. another. I mean, the play, actually, it's all the same room, but the beds change as if it's different rooms in a Marriott. We tried to mix it up visually. And this is um, the cinema, you go big. Yeah, exactly. We, we, had, we, we changed the paint color, but um, we stuck with it, because I think I, we all just love the material. What a hit. I can't even... My hat's off to you. I, <laughs> to go, all right, we're going to spend an hour and a half in this room. Let's, uh, let's yeah. shoot the hell out of it. Like, I... Yeah. What a... What a headache. Yeah, yeah. It, it took well some. Done. It took a little Rubik's cube thinking of how to mix it up and not get cabin fever, and we played with where the light would be and where the actors would be. But honestly, a lot of it came from a rehearsal process that was really fun with Adam and each of the women. Yeah, I love the constant shuffling around of the characters that they're constantly right. changing places. Yeah, and yeah. The yeah. Right. Camera too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, keeps things interesting. Yeah, in yeah. such a small confined space. Yeah, that was a collaboration, but you yeah, know, I mean, but it, yeah. On one hand, it never feels uh, disconcerting, but on the other hand, it 
I, yeah, I don't feel too stagnant or, you know. Right. Part of it is the conversations are, they get juicier and juicier as you go, so yeah. that helps a lot. And also having a different room for each girl, it kind of gives each right. room its own personality along with each girl has right. her own personality. We're, and we're actually shooting them differently. Like um, right. the Emily Watson is on the dolly and it's a little more elegant. By the time you get to Zoe Kazan's character, it's all handheld and a little more raw, like the scene. Yeah. And that's actually where I wanted to go next for both of you, is the rawness and the harsh material that you're delving into here. What was that like, working with that type of material? I, we had one crew member that asked to leave the set. She was very disturbed. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that, that AD woman. That's another thing that I keep meaning to tell you is that there in all these scenes, all the grips, I've never had this happen. Like the, the sort of butchest people on set would be around the monitor like girls, just like totally riveted. It was, especially the Kristen Bell scene. I remember so like funny. I have this flashback of turning in, like I've never seen so many with all the, you know, gack on them and everything. Right, They're right. all just like, what's she gonna say now? What's he saying? And it was really, it was almost like listening yeah. in to some couple breaking up like next door. Like that's how the, it felt to me. Yeah. I think it's, you know, in terms of the dark material or whatnot, the subject matter, for me, it's really easy and it's a joy. And I think Neil takes all the brunt of, it's his name, that's the lightning rod, it's his name. He's got to answer for what, you know, and, and I love it and I think we get to, you know, for better or worse, hide behind his name and put on his production and get the credit for it and not really take, you know, uh, uh, any of the real criticism in the sense because, you know, it's, um, these are, these are his ideas. <laughs> and um, so it's fun to be able to, and for me anyways, play in that world without necessarily having to take ownership of it. Right. And what I love about it is these are real stakes. You know, whenever you work on movies or, or television or anything, it's like, well, what are the stakes? What are the stakes? The stakes are just human beings in their relationships and it gets so powerful and nobody dies and there's no cars turning over and yet it's really powerful and really gripping and that's because he goes to such a raw emotional place. Not everybody does that. You know, that's a gift to be able to yeah. have that material. So as a female director, and you yeah. kind of talked on this right. a little earlier, what attracted you to these female character types? Like each one is its own type, own personality. Yeah, they're all, what I love is that they're all very specific and very specific actors that were all really lovely and wonderful to work with and all very different, but um, they all suffer the same hurt. So it's like getting, it's really like getting like some kind of 60s encounter group together and like they all have had that relationship with that same guy and he's done the same thing to all of them. So to me, like there's such a strong voice that they have and it's something that we need to talk about. That, that the, the discussion that Neil brings up of when is hurting okay, mm -hmm. um, I think is something uh, I just felt the audience last night in the premiere were just like sort of cheering at that moment because mm. it's not okay. Yeah. And if you don't call me back, it is important. Yeah. <laughs>